What does it mean when you get locked up at 5 o'clock p.m. for a pound of white girl and you're out at 10 p.m. on a $10,000 bond? Please comment below and tell me because... Hold on now. I ain't, I ain't been in them streets in a long time, but a pound... What the hell is a pound of white girl? What's a pound of white girl? A brick? You meant to say a brick? If your man's got locked up for a brick, a brick of that white, and he out in five hours, he done told. <laughs> he done got to singing, got to telling his life story. I was born by the river in a little tent. Oh, and just like the river, I've been running ever since. <laughs> and he got in that bitch and started singing. I'm just being honest with you. Well, now that the investigation is closed, a few weeks ago, somebody called CPS on me and they said I was leaving my child here alone. Oh my gosh. And I was. She's 11. I thought that shit was legal, but I'm here to tell you mother to mother, it ain't legal. Don't get caught. At 11, I had a key to my house. <laughs> <laughs> At 11, I had a key to my house. At 11, I was in the crib by myself also. Um, yeah, that, some people just need to mind their business. Not the type of bitch to tell you what to do with your litter. I don't give a fuck about them. I'm not feeding them, clothing them, do what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm also not the type of mother to judge another mother because I don't know where you at mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually in your motherfucking journey. Mm. I minds my goddamn business. Mm. But one thing I'm here to tell y'all, CPS would never... Bro, the way her mouth moving, her breath control, that's why she's so great at doing what she do. If you don't know who this is, go ahead and look up. Never take my motherfucking kids. My kids would never be in the system. Do I want to be the perfect mom? No. Yeah, some people just need to mind their business. I hate folks that weaponize CPS. It's up there with people that weaponize child support. Mind your business. Now, in certain situations, yes, the kids is getting abused in the crib. Kids is getting beat up. They're not getting fed. Call CPS on situations like that. Oh, she living with kids in the house by themselves. They're f***ing 11. Maybe it's how I grew up. Y'all tell me. Because at, at 11, I had keys to my crib. When I leave... Don't open the door for nobody. That was the rules. I knew where the food was. I knew what time to take a shower. I knew what time to go to bed because I had school in the morning. Stop wearing them damn thongs to the beach in the pool. Okay, so let me clarify myself since I ruffled a lot of ladies' feathers with that video. I'm not telling women to stop wearing thongs. I'm not body shaming anybody. What I'm saying is if you know it's a kid's setting, for example, if you're going to a pool with your kids or your little cousins or whatever, if you know kids are going to be there that know you, why expose those children to your clappers? If you on vacation <laughs> and you doing what you do, you ain't got no kids, which, okay, cool, I'm not talking to you. If you ain't got no kids, I'm not talking to you. You don't have no responsibilities over what those kids see. What I'm saying is, if you know that uh -huh. children are going to be amongst you and within you and running around you, why wear something like that? Why expose them to something like that? But then again, not everybody is raised like me. Not everybody thinks... The fact that she got to come back and explain to y'all why it's wrong for you to have your cheeks out in front of your nephews and your nieces and your little cousins is crazy. That should be self-explanatory. Like me, I don't, I, I just don't do stuff like that. And to be honest, my opinion really shouldn't matter to y'all, but here I am, ruffling y'all damn feathers. If you're gonna wear them, if you're gonna wear them clappers, wear them. Wear them. Stop wearing them damn thongs. You want to look sexy is fine, but there's a time and a place for everything. Why you want to expose your nephews and your nieces to your clappers? You in the pool, you bend over to pick some, your coochie lips holding on to the thong for dear life. Now you wonder why your little nephew always acting weird around you, looking like he's sexually attracted to you. Because you exposed him to that shit at the pool. Who are you looking sexy for at the pool? Only family over there. I never quite understood that, to be honest with you. I don't know how y'all gonna feel about me saying this. Because if I had a daughter, some of the things I be seeing y'all be letting y'all kids wear, y'all daughters, it blows my mind. My daughter not going to the pool in no bathing suit. 
I'm letting you know right now. You're gonna have a basketball shorts on top of that. And I'm, I'm not saying I don't trust my male family members. I'm not saying none of that. But at the same time, you just never know what people got going on behind closed doors. And the way the world is going right now, it's a lot of people popping up that they uncles and they granddads and them type of people was touching them when they was younger. This is how it begins, though. You find out five, six years from now that your nephew been choking the chicken, thinking about auntie when she had her clappers out at the pool. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. If each body counted for one dollar, what could you buy? I could buy everything on the street. What is he talking about? That's crazy. Wait, my body count's not too crazy, okay? What could you buy? What could you buy? I could buy you. I'm, I, I'm not a slave. What's going on? I'm trying to make you my only body. I'm oh, sorry? I'm trying to make you my only body. So if you were to roughly guess how many bodies you... I ain't gonna lie. Interview would have been over. Me, in particular... When I go out, I don't like being around drunk strangers, especially women. Drunk female strangers, I don't feel comfortable being around y'all. You got, what would it be? Maybe like 50, and I'm just underguessing. 50? Big crazy. Party. You said 50? Yeah, 50 maybe. Is crazy. That's like a football roster. What you trying to say? We grown. Thank you, dude. Let that. For a female, 50 is crazy. Sure, she grow. Let that sure she grow. I'm grown. What is he talking about? Look. You're out here trying to make it to 51 tonight, huh? Hey, look, if I want it, I'm going to take it. Ooh. What is he talking about? It's 2024. We ain't playing no games. You get, you damn near got a practice card for that Imagine a guy coming out and say, if I want it, I'm going to take it. He'll be up on Diddy charges right now. Foster, huh? Hello? 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 Drunk women who are strangers. I don't feel comfortable being around y'all. I've been in situations where drunk women have crossed the line of scrimmage. And if we didn't have them on tape attempting to cross the line of scrimmage, oh, situations would have been crazy. I have a video on here explaining that. If you can find it, go find it. But I'm telling you right now, fellas, also, if she's drunk, do not make out with no drunk woman. Do not have sexual relations with nobody under the influence of alcohol. Especially like that. That slurred up like that. That can possibly come out and say that you took advantage of them. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. This girl is going to leave me up here. She going to leave me up here because I won't give her none of my goddamn witness. That is a terrible shame. That's a terrible shame. She finna leave me up here because I won't give her none of my damn witness. You stay right here. I gave you $5. And with them $5, you, can, uh, you had won $500. You could have gave me I told you I didn't have no money. You gave me $5 and I won $500. And I gave you your $5 back. Oh! You you. Oh! No! No! No, 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 no. You could at least gave her 100 I'm sorry. You could at least gave her 100 you won 500 If you wouldn't have had $5, you wouldn't have won that 500 Thanks. I told you I didn't have no money. But now you do. Hey, I want, I gave you a $5 bike. What you want? What you want? Catch an Uber bike. Catch an Uber bike? Girl, you is not for leaving no another whole city. Catch you is not for leaving me in no another whole city. Oh, for real? Y'all see this? Y'all see this girl finna leave me up here? She's not wrong. She gave you five. She gave you a ride there. The least you could have did, bro. Give her a hundo. This is a prime example why a lot of people be getting set up by people that they so-called call friends. And then you wonder why you getting set up. Listen to me. If you eating, make sure the people around you eating as well. Now, I'm not saying you got to go out there and take care of everybody. For me, if I'm eating, I'm going to put you in the position to eat as well. This goes for my people that watch my videos that that live in the hood. Once your tax bracket change, you can no longer hang around hungry people if you're not attempting to feed them. I'm a what? Narcissist. And what's a narcissist? Somebody that's always the victim. Somebody that manipulates people to where things work out in their favor. No. A user. You don't need Yeah, to, somebody you. that has to benefit all the time. A controlling person to where it benefits them at all times. Why do I be controlled? I, you Trigger, you are about? the most disrespectful, wild, like No, you. I'm only disrespectful because of how the f*** you come at me. So you go get what the f*** 
you give. So you give me that you bullshit. You run like a I'm wild antelope through bullshit. the safari. Like, <laughs> I can show you. I don't try to control you. I let you do whatever I, you want to do. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I wasn't talking about control like that. I said control things so that they work out in your favor. And that's the narcissist? That's what the fuck I said. Google it. First of all, Google it. I don't Google sit it. here. I don't fuck with nobody. Can't nobody say that I fuck with them. Don't fuck with me. Because when you fuck with me, then you can't fuck handle it. Because I'm going to cut real, real deep. I'm going to go there. Where did this just the get? Is you how, talking how about? Because you get to this Because you talking about something. I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Yesterday, me and my wife having a similar argument to this. Well, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> we were arguing about reading books. She come out and tell me I don't like reading books. And I'm like, yo, I don't like reading the books you like to read. There's a difference. And that shit started a whole argument. The reason I'm saying that is I just heard him say, where did this come from? Like, how did it get to this? And I was asking myself the same question. It is amazing when you're in a relationship how it can go from hot to cold in seconds. A heated discussion can be sparked out of nowhere, out of nothing. Or no, I don't start with nobody. I'm on my motherfucking I, I mean you, to myself. I, like, I be chill. I be on chill. Why are you yelling? Shit. I just asked you to what, you what narcissist about? is. You can't get mad because you don't know what a narcissist is. Boy, you, you, you don't know what you is. The day I'll put your motherfucking face next to that goddamn definition. They would have they need to do. I've dealt with a narcissist before. It wasn't somebody I was in a relationship with. It was somebody I considered a friend. The thing about dealing with narcissistic people is that when they don't have their way and they're not in control, they realize that they're not in control of the situation, they will do some of the, the most heinous things. Dealing with a narcissistic person will have you looking like the bad guy. They're very skilled at making you look like the bad guy. They like putting you through things and sitting back and watching as it unfolds. I'm just a bad bitch. What can I say? They can't handle a bad bitch. Whoa. You're one of those. Like, how can a guy handle a bad bitch? Because it seems like a lot of people can't handle bad bitch. Though. They got to be secure because a lot of these men are not secure. They're very insecure. Secure and well. Oh. I hate what she's basically saying, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be in a relationship and I'm going to be allowed to do disrespectful things. And the moment you stand up for yourself, I'm going to call you insecure. Wait. In themselves. They think they can't handle that. And so, they can't. So. So how do you expect? To find a guy if nobody can handle a bad bitch. That's a good question. Who said I'm trying to find a guy? Do you not want a man? Who said I don't got a guy? I asked you if you had a man. I know, I don't got a man. But I'm saying... <laughs> so it's you a, you, you a, said the way you did. It's a choice. We don't call women stupid enough. I'm just a bad bitch. What can I say? They can't handle a bad bitch. Whoa. She just proved my point. She, she literally just proved my point. Fellas. Fellas. If you talking to a female right now and she come out and calls herself a bad bitch, exit, stage left. There's nothing she can do for you. A bad bitch is like having an expensive sports car that does nothing but takes from your wallet. It doesn't add anything to your life. It looks good. It looks good when you pop out. Everybody, you know, it, it, it gets heads turning. But that's it.